guys, Durgens here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos. Today I have prepared for you another editorial interiors uh, photo shoot. And uh, yeah, I hope you're gonna enjoy it. This time I shoot it in a kind of a bigger house. Uh, normally I shoot all kind of sizes, you know, but from time to time um, I have the chance to shoot bigger houses and I really, really enjoy it. Now this editorial was a bit of a challenge because uh, the house, you know, it has a lot of geometry in it and it was kind of hard for me to find the right composition. But uh, once I start to practice a little bit and move different angles, I start to grab it a little bit uh, better and to find uh, some good composition. Uh, I've been using the Canon EOS R for this uh, shoot and this time I've been using only the 35 millimeter. I don't know why, but I thought I should give it a shot and use only the 35 millimeter. I normally use 35, 85 and 50 millimeter. And also because I added now the 24 millimeter, I also shoot 24 millimeter. But for this shoot, um, I thought maybe the 35 will do the job and I'm actually pretty happy with the results. this case and this actually shoot uh, it was a bit also challenged the light you know the light uh, was not the best uh, time of the day i have been shooting around 12 1 o'clock and the, sh the sun was very harsh so that means it creates very harsh contrast uh, very harsh shadows and uh, very harsh uh, highlights so um, in some cases i had to shoot multiple exposures to make sure that I uh, don't overexpose for the highlights and uh, I have some details in the shadows. I will say it's pretty important to pay attention to the light and if you have the chance to shoot early in the morning or really uh, afternoon then it's a better choice than to shoot really in the middle of the day. On this shoot I also use a tripod of course, but uh, just for the widest shots, especially because of the light was too harsh so I had to compensate somehow, I had to take three uh, exposures, exposing for the shadows, for the highlights and for the mid-tones. After I take this kind of a wider shots, I shoot a handheld. Now in my case, uh, this is how I shoot, I like to shoot handheld because I I pretty much like to move very fast and to take the shots and uh, yeah, I don't know why I am in the flow when I shoot handheld. 
um, I take details, I take all kind of uh, uh, position, verticals, uh, horizontals, uh, different angles, uh, tilt, uh, dutch angles, uh, and all these kind of angles. Uh, and it's pretty hard to shoot uh, this kind of, I mean, that fast on a tripod. Now when I shoot handheld, of course I bump up my ISO around maybe 3200 uh, and I shoot also uh, from f1.4 uh, to 28, uh, 3.2 or something like that handheld. Uh, and it's great for me because I like the, uh, the blurred background, I like to separate a little bit, especially when I shoot kind of details. Uh, I like to separate uh, uh, those and uh, yeah, it's working for me. Now with the 35 millimeter, I've been shooting from 2.0 uh, to around f8. So don't be afraid to shoot pretty wide open. Now when I shoot handheld, I like to just go around uh, the, all the corners of the room or the entire house and make sure I got all possible angles um, and make sure I got everything. I mean, all all the shots and all the details and all the furniture, because yeah, you know, it's all about furniture and of course the house. But in, in uh, most part, it's about the, the furniture and uh, all the uh, styling and uh, uh, all the, the the vibe of the house. Now my editing is very clean, very organic, so I don't like to uh, exaggerate, uh, you know, with the colors and so on. So of course you can bump up a little bit the contrast, the colors and so on. But for me, it's uh, I like to be very organic and natural. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this interior shoot and if you did, I would really appreciate if you subscribe and like this video and if you have an opinion or you have something to say or you want to ask something, I would really appreciate if you leave also a comment down below and uh, yeah, I hope you got some inspiration from this video and I will see you on the next one.